Alright, hello everyone, uh, this is NanoDude05 from Trailmakers, and today I will be teaching you how to make a uh, basic vertical takeoff or landing hovercraft. It's extremely simple. So first you're going to want to get a seat, and then you're going to want to make your stabilization system, and all you need to do this is angle sensors. Um, I like to put them to these settings. And then, um, all you need to do is duplicate it like this, rotate it, and push it to the other side, and then do the same thing. Don't mirror them, otherwise it'll like mirror the angle sensor itself, which is what you don't want. And once you have all of those down, uh, you're going to want to get the helicopter engine and face the spinning part in, since there's no connection points, so that it can just rotate freely without uh, messing up anything else. And for a small hovercraft, I just like to set them to three. Once you have all of those done, uh, you're just gonna wanna get something to connect them. And now that they're all connected, you can just control double click them to remove their controls. And then you're gonna take each angle sensor and whichever axis it's on, uh, link it to both helicopter engines and so you're going to do that with all of them and on one side it doesn't matter which you're just going to put this output value up the angle sensor to negative one and you're just going to make the output or the speed um, of this helicopter engine next to that angle sensor that you set negative negative as well and that just makes it so they both spin the same direction when they're receiving the input since they're flipped around Once you're done with that, it should automatically stabilize. Uh, if I put like a block off center, it wants to stand up, which is good. That's exactly what we want. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to make the directional stuff. Uh, so you're just gonna wanna take some mini thrusters. I'll do four for each direction and also, you're going to need a speed sensor and, and uh, an XOR gate and an OR gate, and that's it. And uh, the speed sensor needs to face the same direction as all these thrusters, so this will be for W. And you're going to set the speed sensor to zero. Um, I'm going to put the OR gate into the XOR gate, right? And you're going to set it to the opposite control of these, which is S. And then the same thing with this one. And then this um, speed sensor is going to go into this XOR gate, go to all of these. And so what this does is when I hold S, see they don't do anything. And that's so when I have thrusters going the opposite way, it deactivates the auto stabilization on these so that it can move backwards. And same thing with all the other directions. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that. I can actually save this as a thing so I can just get a few of them. Now we have one for each angle. So we're just going to connect these up. Uh, so this is the one for W. And you got to make sure the speed sensor is still facing the same way. That's important. Okay, we have that one. Uh, we'll do this one for S. set these to the opposite direction
Uh, so once you have all of those done, all we need to do now is add up and down. So we're just gonna take some, some gimbals. And I personally like to set uh, up to left shift and down to left control. But you could set it to whatever. Same thing again with the speed sensors and stuff, just like all the other directions. Since we don't want to go up on left control, we're just going to put these as left control. And look this up. And now, we have basic hovercraft. Of course, um, still doesn't have good rotation, so what you need to do is you need to disable, a disable um, air control on that seat. And then just take another helicopter engine. You put it to a relatively low speed and then add controls if it doesn't spin the right way all you need to do is flip it around and there we go that's a basic automatically stabilizing overcraft and if i don't touch anything it'll stop i can strafe and it'll stop i can go down it'll stop and i can go up and it'll stop uh very useful for just getting around the map or spectating So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.